Ladies and gentlemen, hello, my name is Austin from AwfulMedia.com, and welcome back. In this part, we are going to start working on a comments.php. That is a, a file where we can start setting up a custom comment structure. We can call in our comment form, we can set up our comment list, and uh, set that all up any way we want to. We will be using the default uh, comment form. We'll just style it a little bit later on, but we will be using a custom listing of the comments. Let's make a new file, and we're going to save it as comments.php, click save, and now what we're going to do is actually take this, our comment form, we're going to cut that and paste it inside of our comments.php. Let's go ahead and save that. And then now inside of our single page, we're going to use the comments uh, template function. Now if we control S, go to the browser and refresh, you'll see nothing has changed, which is a good thing. What this is doing is it's first going to check and see if we have a comments.php in our theme directory. If we do, It'll use the comments.php to display the comment form and whatever's inside the comments.php. So it'll use that before it goes to the default. So if you do not have a comments.php, it will then go and find the WordPress default files. So we do have it. So it's going in here and it's saying, okay, he has a comment form. That's all he has. So it's all we can use. Above this, I'm going to say if have comments. So we're checking if there's any comments to be listed on this page. And then just go ahead and end that if. So now inside of here we can place whatever we want to place only if comments exist. Inside of that I'm going to place another snippet of code. This is a heading for tag that has the ID of comments and inside the, inside of that we have a PHP tag that says comments number. Okay? So we're saying if there are no comments we want to say no comments. If there are only one comment, we want to say one comment. The reason we do that is because if we have, if we don't have that, it'll say one, and then see this will take place of the number as a token for the number. And then if so, if we have, if we don't have this, it'll say one comments. And that's just you know, it's not a big deal, but it just kind of looks silly. So you have one comment with a singular comment, and then you have two and up for comments in the plural. So make sure you have all of these in their own quotes, separated by a comma. That's all there is to that. Now if I control S, come here and refresh, you'll see it says one comment. Okay, but it's not listing the comment. So now let's go ahead and start listing the comments. Inside of this, we're going to open a PHP tag and we're going to say WordPress list comments. Control S, come in, refresh, and there we go. So that, there's our comment with our avatar, which is from Gravatar, our username, and it's the date it was posted on, an edit link, and the comment body, and a reply link. So that's pretty good, right? But inside of this, I want to set up a custom a, a, a callback. It's going to call back and, and find something in our functions.php which we'll set in there as a function name. So we're going to say, uh, we normally do this in an array because we have multiple things we want to set inside of a function. And this will do the same thing, except we're going to be setting it in, in an inline format where we don't have to use an array because we'll only be using one thing. So we're going to say callback equals, and the name of the callback is going to be custom comments. Custom custom comments and we're going to save that so now we go into functions.php and we can say function custom comments so now that'll call back to this inside the functions.php and run whatever's inside of this function inside of this function we're going to set three variables for it to execute and check on whenever it runs this function the comment variable args variable and the depth variable I thought it'd be a good idea if we started with a base because there's a lot of stuff going on in here. So if we start with a base that is the default 
WordPress comment list. And then we could go in and modify it to work how we want it to work. Instead of writing it from scratch, that way we start with what WordPress starts with, and then we can go in and change some stuff. So I'm going to paste this in. Now keep in mind, you can, you'll be able to download these files on awfulmedia.com slash wordpress video dash series. You can go there and download the template or download the theme, and you'll get these files. So if you don't want to have to type all this stuff out that I'm, I'm, I'm pasting in here, then you can go do that, copy and paste, edit it along with me. So it's going to be all of this good stuff. Now I'll explain some of this here in a second. Now you'll notice we're using the same variable here as we are here. We're saying the globals comment variable is equal to this variable. That's all we're saying there. See, we're ending the PHP tag here because all of this is within a PHP tag. So we're ending it there. And then here we're start starting a list item. And what we'll do is wrap inside of our uh, inside of our comments of PHP, we'll wrap this in a UL. So we'll say UL, give it a class of comment list, slide that over. So we're saying li, which is inside of that UL, because this function is fired off inside of the UL. And then we're giving it the comment class function. Okay, that's a WordPress function that will give it the class of that comment. Pretty simple. And then we're giving an ID that says li comment dash comment ID. So it's going to be li dash comment dash 14 or 26 or whatever the ID of that comment is. That way you can style them specifically if you want to. You don't have to do that. That's that's completely up to you. Now inside that we have a deal with an ID of again comment ID. So we have that specific ID. Inside that we have the div with a class of comment author, which is we're going to be able to style that uh, for the author information. And then we have the, we're echoing out get avatar comment. So it's getting the avatar for that comment. Remember, comment equals comment, okay? Setting the size of that to 48, you can change this to whatever you want to. Uh, I'll check out gravatar.com to see their resolutions and stuff and see how that's going to work for you. And I feel a little silly, but I don't actually know what this is doing. Hmm, what is that actually doing? Gravatar URL? I don't exactly know. I'll look into that and let you guys know though. Below the author information, we are then checking to see if the comment you're looking for has been approved or not. If it hasn't been approved, then it will equal zero. So it's not it's not set to approved. So you're then going to echo out your comment is waiting moderation. If you want to have to have your comments be approved before they're, they're, they're visible, then you will have to set that in the WordPress administrative panel. Then we have the comment meta, which you have the get comment link for that specific ID. The comment date, the comment time, and then the edit comment link. And this is the uh, value of that link. You can set it to the... Uh, edit comment or you can get rid of the, the parentheses there completely up to you again just giving a rough idea of what's going on then we'll go back through and change what we have to change comment text this is the body of the text of comment of the comment pretty simple stuff and then we'll have a reply link now the reply link is going to set the URL to that anchor for that comment the the ID of that comment and then using the WordPress reply JavaScript file, it will then be able to move the comment form under the comment you're wanting to reply to, right under it so you know what you're, what you're typing. When you reply to that, it will then set that to be a child of that comment. So it'll be a threaded comment system, as long as you have that enabled in the WordPress dashboard as well. And this is just setting the, the maximum amount of depth you can go in the comments. And I think it's set to whatever is in the WordPress dashboard. So I think it's default to five. So you can go five deep, which is plenty, I think. Then we're just ending everything. So I know that wasn't uh, the most in-depth I can go. If you want to see what exactly is going on with all the stuff, I'm sure you can find some awesome written tutorials. But I'm just going to go over what we need to change and then change it to what we want it to do. So we hit Control S though. We go here and we refresh. 
you'll see that this is now larger, which is the only thing it changed pretty much.